Hey everyone, I'm Emily and this is Daisy and thank you for watching Misfit Hippies. Now, if you haven't watched the last video of how to grow a daisy part one, I would highly recommend stopping what you're doing, go down to my description box, and go hit the link to that video because that will catch you up to speed. But for those of you that don't have the time to go do that, I completely understand. Here's a little backstory. I went to go pick up Daisy a little over a month ago now. She was severely emaciated. She was having seizures, and she also had coccidia. Since then, I've had to give her her coccidia medicine every day, and I do this by putting 0.2 milliliters into a small dish, and I will also put her pureed food into that dish, and I will mix it up until it is all combined, and then I will suck that up into the syringe, and I will give it to her. Now, in the beginning, I did do this step while force-feeding her because she wasn't strong enough to eat insects on her own. We would watch her try to go catch a dubia roach and then get frustrated because it would run away from her. She would go bite it and then wasn't strong enough to go chase after it. So I force fed her and at the beginning it was really rough. It's hard to fit a syringe into a lizard's mouth, believe it or not. But after doing it for a couple weeks, something really weird happened. I'd fill up the syringe by her enclosure and she started really intensely looking at that syringe. So one day instead of pulling her out and trying to force feed her, I just put the syringe in her enclosure and she looked at it like it was a bug. She was so excited to eat all of it. It was just the weirdest thing that I'd ever seen because I've never seen a bearded dragon want to eat from a syringe. So after syringe feeding her for a couple of weeks, she was strong enough to start eating on her own. And let me tell you, there was nothing stopping her from devouring every single bug in her path. <laughs> She's obsessed with food now, and I love that. So she became this ravenous beast and it was eating everything in her path. And then finally she got some of her strength back and I realized how much of an attitude she had. I could not reach my hand in her enclosure without her trying to rip my hand apart. The way we worked through this together is, in my brain, if you have a little baby reptile or animal or whatever it may be, they're just babies and they're scared. <laughs> And so my thought was, if she's a little baby and she's all scared and aggressive, she wasn't aggressive, she was just scared. So if I bring her out and she bites me and I put her back, she knows exactly how to go back in her enclosure every time. She'll just bite me. And I didn't want her to learn that kind of behavior. So instead, when she got all huffy and puffy and started hissing at me and trying to bite me, I'd just take her out anyway. So I would just take her out of the enclosure and sit with her 15 minutes a day at least, like bare minimum 15 minutes, and that did the trick. <laughs> and I would sit there with her and just pet her head, and then her beard would, beard would start to puff up, and then I would pet her beard back down and be like, no. And I just really wanted to show her that people weren't scary. You know, I figure it's going to hurt a lot less if she bites me now this size versus this size. And so after doing that for a couple weeks, she actually got really comfortable with us. I won't say that we're 110% yet, but we're definitely getting there. Like, I would have not been able to do this a couple of weeks ago. So overall, she's doing so much better than what she was. She has gained so much weight. I'm not exactly sure how much she's gained. I think she's probably tripled. Let me go check really quick. I didn't think she had gained that much. She went from 17 grams and in just a little over a month, she's 
gotten up to almost 66 grams. That is insane. You're incredible. I'm mind blown. Like just look at these pictures from here to here and the difference. Like I'm at a loss of words. And people are telling me how great I'm doing. We're a team. My fiance also helps a lot. But yeah, no, I just wanted to jump on here and update everybody because I know there's been a lot of people concerned about her, which is cool. In the future, I might make some more updated videos about her health, but for the most part, she's doing so much better. I do need to bring in another fecal sample to the veterinarian to make sure she doesn't have coccidia still. She just hadn't completely finished her medication within the three weeks, so I wanted to make sure she took every single last drop of that medication before we rechecked. So I guess I will plan on making a video and kind of sharing those results too with you guys. But I think she's had enough of me for one day. If you guys did like this video, then please give it a big O thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos in the future, then please feel free to subscribe. I also made an Instagram, so if you guys would want to go check that out, that would be awesome. Once again, thank you guys so much. Bye!